Black soil is dubbed the giant panda of farmland, and northeast China is one of the world's best regions for the mineral rich resources. Covering an area spanning more than 1 million square kilometers, it's also among the most fertile regions in the country. Last year, grain production using black soil in the area accounted for a quarter of China's total outputs. But long term cultivation and overuse of fertilizers now threaten the local environments and the grain production. Simply speaking, the Li Shu model is returning maize straw to farmland as much. It likes to put on clothes for our black soil. That's because the major reasons for black soil degradation are wind and water erosion. So maize straw can help the black soil to resist these forms of erosion. Li Shu County in northeast China's Jilin province is part of the renowned Golden Maize Belt, an important area for grain production. After years of experimentation, the county has now formed the Li Shu Modo in an effort to save the black soil. Chinese President Xi Jinping paid a visit to Li Shu County in July 2020, where he inspected the grain production. He also stressed the importance of taking effective measures to save the soil, also dubbed as the giant panda of farmland. Uh, the Li Shu model can also improve fertility while reducing cultivation, as it encourages farmers to use non-tillage sowing which can help to protect the topsoil. This means the end of the old era of plowing. We currently also collaborate with other research institutions, such as the China Agricultural University, to research other black soil conservation techniques. Currently, all farmland in Li Shu covering an area of more than 3.3 million mu now uses maize straw to save the black soil. And the Li Shu model continues to innovate. Today, it integrates comprehensive soil testing, a fertilization formula, as well as grain pest control measures, among other techniques. President Xi's visits to Li Shu have definitely encouraged us. We plan to carry on the protective measures under the Li Shu model and promote it in more areas. Li Shu's annual grain production has been stable at over 2 billion kilograms for a prolonged period. And this year, our output is expected to exceed 2.25 billion kilograms. China's number one central document for 2024 calls for enhanced efforts to guarantee food security, upgrade rural industries, and promote the development and the governance of rural regions. It also highlights technology and reform as key drivers in promoting the modernization of agriculture across the country. Authorities say the country will finish protecting nearly 7 million hectares of black soil over the course of the 14th five-year plan.